of a quality college. I'm just getting to know that it's the wife of my friend. And I told her he would, she would have told him to call me and <laughs> I will be here on time. Uh, the consultant of the college, um, the young ambassador at the school, His Excellency the Deputy High Commissioner. Um, oh, Her Excellency, our former Deputy Governor of Lagos State. Um, parents here, the media present, my dear students or graduates today, somebody, the comedian said um, he never graduated, he finished. I think a lot of us finished. <laughs> so you just graduated. Um, I want to first apologize to everyone here. I promised to be here, very difficult uh, profession I'm in. So I hardly take engagements and I don't want to be represented. So I've done two meetings this morning. I was running, I had to caution the last one to be here. So my apologies coming late. Um, it's not in my character and it's not a good signal for these young kids who will need Nigeria in the future. Um, my quality graduates today uh, is a privilege to meet with you. My son happens to be one of you. Um, frankly, before this time I never knew that we, have, we had such great institutions in this country. Until you experience it, you would not know. Um, it's a very simple way. My son here is brilliant, but very difficult to manage. <laughs> it's, it's very smart. And that's a lesson to parents that a lot of us who are entrepreneurs, okay, we are restless. If I tell people that I've not slept since last night, no person will believe me. Okay, so in this restlessness, you could make mistakes. You need to manage them to get a basic degree. Why I managed to go to school is because I'm an Igbo man. And no matter how rich you are in Igbo line, if they want to insult you with all your money, they say this is illiterate. Okay, I'm sure you hear about the spare part thing and all the rest of it. So a person like me managed to force myself into school because again, my parents insisted. I was to go to Ife but I had a major accident, and um, I lost that admission, and I decided to move out of the country. Now, there's something to learn from here. I also had the privilege of studying abroad, and my kids studying abroad. But I learned a lot from this college, and that is a gap in imagining a future leader in Nigeria. You cannot be absolutely British, are absolutely American, and you come to manage people who are partially civilized. You run into storm. And before the last administration closed up, I had the courage to challenge the minister, and I told her straight three weeks before the election, I was so pained, and I told her her government was analog, and we are not heading anywhere. Um, it was a huge courage, but I had to say, So we have fundamentals that you must run to lead a proper economy. It's like a business. Frankly, the principle of this college is running has more headed than I have running about seven companies locally and two abroad. Because she's managing the kids, psychology of their growth, okay? Trying to finish them off, bringing them to be huge human capital to support our economy in future.